Today we're going to show you how to set up one of these aftershock huts. Uh, normally this is all you'd need, the one solar panel on the hut, uh, but sometimes if you're in the middle of winter, you've got low sun or in a valley, you might need an external panel, so I'll show you how to hook one of those up as well. And here we've got one sensor hooked up, you can have two if you've got the right cable glands. So let's have a look what's inside. We start off with one of our aluminium huts that has an 80 watt panel attached to it. And it's a fairly lightweight unit uh, that can be carried around when there's nothing inside. And by default it has the solar regulator bolted in and the GPS aerial on the lid also. Here's our seismograph, our seismic recorder, our seismometer, the earthquake sensor, the cabling for all of the gear an extra solar panel if required and a couple of high capacity batteries to run the seismograph and the motor. So now we're going to connect up our sensor. We might have that sensor on the ground or in a separate enclosure. In this case we've just got it on the surface. So connect one end of your sensor cable to the sensor and grab the other end uh, with the mill spec connector and feed that through the large cable gland. Then find the cable gland plug on the cable and slide it along and push it in and then tighten up the large cable gland onto that. Now the small cable gland that's on the back is used to feed in any excess cable, so feed it all in and then tighten it up. This hut is fitted with a 3G modem, so we're going to connect an aerial. So take the screw and washer off the aerial that's supplied and feed the connector through the little rubber grommet in the top of the hut. Uh, then push the aerial through, feed the washer and nut back onto that aerial cable and secure the aerial to the hut from inside. Then take the aerial connector and screw it into the modem. The solar regulator that is in the hut has probably already got this cabling connected, uh, which is a, a full plug cable that allows you to connect four different batteries. When you unpack your batteries, you'll find a small bag of nuts and bolts. So we need to connect those to the battery, which then allows us to connect either the ring terminals or the battery clamps that are supplied also. One of the cables you'll find coming from the solar regulator is the power for the recorder. So find that one and connect it to the recorder. Then find the GPS aerial cable and connect that to the recorder. Then you'll need to connect the networking cable from the modem to the recorder. It's simply an ethernet cable, so obviously it just plugs into one port of the modem and then into the ethernet port of the seismograph. Finally grab the sensor cable that you fed through earlier, grab the mil spec connector and connect it to port A of the recorder. fit up to four batteries inside the hut, so place each of them in carefully and take each of the cables from those batteries and plug them into the sockets in the four plug power socket coming from the solar regulator. When you're done, simply stow all of the equipment inside the enclosure and it will be protected from the weather. If you're installing your seismograph in an area that doesn't have a lot of solar exposure, you might need to use the extra solar panel that we've supplied. It's a folding solar panel, so just open it up uh, and then fold out the legs. And then take the cable and pass it through the small cable gland uh, one bullet connector at a time and then push the cable through to take up all the slack and tighten up the cable gland. 
You'll notice that one of the battery cables has two connectors on it, one of the large grey connectors and also the bullet connectors. This is the one that you would use to connect the external solar panel uh, and then connect it to the four connector battery plug. Don't forget to plug up any open cable glands with the plugs provided and you'll have a waterproof seismograph hut.